This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom field for your inventory items. Now, a custom field may be needed if you want to add additional information about your inventory that can't otherwise be added using QuickBooks default fields. Now you can create a custom field to store any information that you choose. So to create a custom field for your inventory items, click the lists menu and then click item lists. Now here is my sample company's item list. And if you take a look in the type column, you'll see different types of items. Here is an inventory part item and here is a sales tax item. And QuickBooks has a few more types of items that you can create. Now the custom field that I create will be added to all item types in your item list. So click on any of the inventory part items in your item list. Now here's the edit item screen and here are all of the default fields for an item. Now let's assume that Joe's Landscaping has more than one warehouse to store its inventory. Let's also assume that some items are kept in one particular warehouse and some items are kept in another particular warehouse. I'm going to create a custom field called location so that I can easily identify where a particular item is being held in inventory. So let's click the custom fields button here on the right. And if this is your first time creating a custom field, QuickBooks will tell you that there are no custom fields defined for items. So click OK to continue. Now you have to define the field. So click Define Fields at the bottom right. Place a check mark in the Use column. If you want to create more than one field for your items, simply click the row below and enter in another label for the custom field. When you are done, click OK. QuickBooks will tell you that you have activated custom fields for this list. Click OK to continue. Now here's my custom field labeled location. In this field I'm going to type warehouse 1 and then click OK. Now I'm going to click OK to save my changes. Now I'm going to enter some information in the next inventory item. I'm going to type in warehouse 2. So I'm going to double click the next inventory item. Click the custom fields button here. Here's the location custom field that I just created and I'm going to type in Warehouse 2 and then click OK to save my changes. Now that's how you create a custom field. In the very next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run a report using the custom fields that you just created. In the meantime, if you have any questions on how to create a custom field, please send me an email. Once again, my name is James Fox and I'll see you next time.